In this week's video, we are finally revealing the 300 year old room that we've transformed into an ensuite bathroom. Right, so you've woken up and you're like, okay, I'm ready for my day. And you get to enter into this brand new ensuite bathroom. But it doesn't stop there. I also wanted to show Luke my next restoration project. So wait a minute. Wow. This, this is the next project. This is the next project, everybody. And you might be thinking, well, it looks all right, but there has been a lot of work done in here by me. Luke has come up with a very strange, but somewhat unique way to restore our Georgian dining room table. I really hope this works. And if you look carefully, mm -hmm. you can see we've got some. Yeah some quite big scratches. So here we are, wow. The floor unfortunately was laid first before I was able to get in and paint. I've just been incredibly busy and so I am gonna have to tape around not very much and I've got my tape here um, tape around just so I don't get that, but I'm going to start to just cut in. So I'm going to cut in and then I'll do the roller paint at the very end, which will be super easy. But again, this is the color that we chose. It's kind of everywhere now. It's great. And, but I've got a sugar soap first. So a lot of the paneling here, you can see it's got quite a lot of just dust just because of the work that's been going on in here. Um, and so I just need to sugar soap that first. There are some bits that still need sanding as well. So I'm gonna sand first actually, and then I'm going to sugar soap. So that will take me about an hour, sand, sugar soap, and then I should be ready to cut it in. Polly, who uh, is a member of the Montague family, happened to be in the area and she came by and helped me paint. And she's super creative. Uh, she obviously has her own sort of um, handwriting stationary business, like super creative and like an amazing painter, decorator. And <laughs> So it was amazing. I had Polly here and she just like whizzed through everything. And um, so I'm just now getting to the top bit. I just want to get the first coat done. I really love this color. It's a beautiful, beautiful sort of greeny gray. And, um, and yeah, it's, so I just want to get the top done. The difficult bit will be, do you see up here, Luke, like this, you know, I can sort of, but you know, I've got to go in there. It all looks difficult to me. So that's gonna be, I mean, it's not that bad to be fair. I've just gotta really get it in there. But um, we're gonna take it all the way up to here and then this will stay white. I'm just taking a break from the renovation of the chapel room bathroom, which is an ensuite bathroom to the bedroom that we call the chapel room. And while I take a break, I am making sure that I get my AG1 in. Now, if you've been watching our videos for quite some time, well over a year, I have been taking AG1. And I can honestly say, everybody, AG1 is, has given me so much energy. So many of you have commented in the post because I'm running from one project to the next to blah, I mean, doing a gazillion things. People have written like, you're superwoman, all that stuff. And that's really, really kind. I mean, definitely not superwoman, but I can tell you that I do not miss a day without drinking my AG1. And it not only gives me energy, 
but these are, you know, it's filled with 75 minerals, vitamins, and whole food sourced ingredients. But it also helps with my digestion. It helps with my microbiome, which are so important. And of course, you know, I am getting older. We're all getting older and it's fantastic for healthy aging. So I wanted to let you guys know that you too uh, can have your AG1s as well by using the link down below. And with that, you'll get five. In fact, I have them here five travel packs. I take these everywhere I go. Five travel packs free once you click the link. And you'll also get a uh, free bottle of D3K2 as well. So do check out the link down below. There is not a day that goes by where I'm not drinking my AG1. Well, this is it, everybody. I'm showing you and you. This is very the, exciting. <laughs> the transformation here. Now, I, first of all, want to say a huge, we want to say a huge thank you to our Matt Britton patrons. Because of them, we were able to create this ensuite bathroom, which is very hard to do in homes like this. Isn't it? It's been a long time in the making this bathroom. We had to go through planning, we had to go through design, um, and obviously very grateful to patrons for supporting the different ways in which we restore this manor house, one of which is to give it sanitary wear. That That's right. right. And the reason we created this ensuite bathroom is because we have Grand Historic Tours, our first one coming up. This weekend. This weekend. And guess what? People sleeping in this bed That's right. need somewhere to have a bath. Has it happened? Have we got Yeah. A well, first and foremost, everybody, I want you to notice on the four poster bed something different. Well, that is very different because the this is material that has come from our old family home at Hinchingbrook, has been sitting in a chest for centuries but has now a new lease of life as part of this full poster, which makes it look really smart. In yeah. fact, so smart that I'd want to jump in there. But it also so, makes me think this may not match that. So no. at some point, we're we gonna will, have to come up with some new Well, we, we will, for the, we for will, the because this fabric was around here and down there. And if you look at the before, everybody, you can see how we have transformed this four poster bed and we've taken off that sort like, of bits like, around. Like, no, like, no, 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 like because it's, no, nope, because we've made the bed. So, yeah, okay. and we put in a Persian carpet here. So need to, just- Need to pull a- Yeah, pull that pull a, bit. a bit. And <laughs> some luggage racks here, some very smart luggage racks, ready for our American guests who will be staying in here. But yeah. I actually really love this room. I love this room now. Right, bathroom. Right, so you've woken up and you're like, okay, I'm ready for my day. And you get to enter into this brand new ensuite bathroom. Now still little bits to do because it literally has just finished, but beautiful, lovely color, a very, very soft, soft sort of greeny gray. This is actually a French bath. It's beautiful. It's come all the way from some chateau in France to be part of an English manor. And I think it's much happier here. It's incredibly wide at the it's end, beautiful. isn't it? It's beautiful. It's going to be great. It's Can't beautiful. Wait to have a bath. And you can have a bath and you can look out and see the views. You can pull it if you're like, nope, I don't want views, or, uh, or you can open them up as well. So we've got these sort of muslin curtains so that you have a choice of privacy or not. And, and Roman blinds. And Roman blinds on top. So look at that. Very smart. Just very, very smart. I mean, so Up smart. Again. And behind here, I found this in Antiques Market. Nice towel rail. I'll be hanging towels on very, very does soon. It, does it fit? Yeah, yeah, it fits great. Yeah. So it's there. Towel rail, beautiful towel rail. new sink. Uh, gosh, we just need a light bulb here. Oh, I'll, I'll go get a light bulb. Speaking of lights. I know, well, we've, we've seen that already because yeah. actually I helped put that up. I cleaned it, polished it, um, stuck mm. it under the, the hot water in the sink, which I probably shouldn't have done. Oh, but it uh, worked. It did the trick. Hooray, Look at it. Bathroom. Gosh, isn't it so smart? I mean, this is proper smart. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it just works. The proportions, 
the space between the different things. Critically, we've got a radiator, so you're going to be warm both oh. inside and outside of the bath. I think, Luke, for the big reveal, we can now take oh, off. Oh, we can. Yeah, we can. There's Let's some, take the some, tape there's off. some tape. This little panel here goes That's in. Literally. Because <sighs> this is where the water switches on. We're not switching the water on yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. We're still attaching an outside um, wastewater plug. So oh. fingers crossed the water Watch is going to this, work. Because it's 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 been put in quite. Oh no, mine's working just fine. working okay. Yeah. Like, that's actually quite satisfying, isn't it? Because it it's leaves, really satisfying. It leaves a nice clean line where the paint was. Yeah. There we go. Wow. Look at that. One of the critical things, obviously, for a bathroom is to have a floor. And we've got mm -hmm. these wonderful lino tiles that we put in. But what we really had to be careful about was the risk of any water yes. going down through into the ceiling below because it's an important ceiling. ceiling. Company. And so what we've done is made sure that there's a seal all the way around the edge. So if water does come, it should be held here until somebody has time to get their towel up yep. and give it a good mop. Yes, because um, many of you were asking why didn't we keep the timber floors that were underneath and again it would have, it would have just leaked through very quickly. And the we, ceiling is really that. important down we, below. We also had did have an issue with the height of the bath where um, because of the the drop level for the wastewater, we had to actually raise the bath because we couldn't raise the floor. Um, so we put the but the bath has got a couple of um, of extra plinths. It's sitting on on these plinths. Yeah. And that, that levels it out and makes sure that everything's going to work. I think, I think that all works. We, it looks like we need a little bit of a... We need to do... A little bit of a final we, polish. You know, getting this bathtub was a real... Well, yeah. Getting, what, yeah, super, get, get, super heavy, <laughs> proper... Oh, um, my goodness. Antique cast iron bath all the way from France. Um, quite grand legs, actually. Sort yeah. of Griffin's legs or... Or something. So once again, we want to thank our patrons for their support of this project and others. If you're interested in becoming a patron, please do consider going to patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live. There are lots of benefits. You join a wonderful community of people, many of whom have become our friends, some of whom are, are coming, coming to, to stay, stay next weekend. <laughs> who so we, exciting. we interact with, we have live monthly Q and A's. There are goodies. What do you get in the goodie bag? Well, you get tea towels, photos, Christmas cards. And what's, you know, really exciting is just the generosity of our patrons really does help support this important part of England's heritage. So do check it out. Details down below in the link. So I want to show everybody sort of the next project that I've been working on that is a project for Another future. Project. Yeah, it's a project for future, but it's going to look great. Um, regardless, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I'm going to show you. No idea. Okay, where, it's our where, next where big. Where are we going? It's our next big kind of renovation in the house. Eventually. Where are we going? Tell me where we're going. I'll tell you in a second. If you're new to our channel, this is the Staircase Hall. This is where many of your ancestors are hanging. <clears throat> I always right think now. that they're kind of looking down at us, wondering what? whether we're doing a good job. Do you think we're doing a good job? I think so. But at I want to show at least you some of the time. I want to show you with this ladder right here. So wait a minute. Wow. This, this is the next project. This is the next project, everybody. And you might be thinking, well, it looks all right. But there has been a lot of work done in here by me <laughs> <laughs> recently. So what we've done in, this is the library. And because we have 12 guests arriving in a few days time, we actually have a recital in here. So we've opened it up to make it into a recital space. But eventually we want to create it, um, well, bring it back to what it is, which is a library. Somebody is going to be on the piano playing things like Gilbert and Sullivan mm -hmm. and we're going to all be seated along here 
uh, having a very merry time, which is why there isn't much furniture. Right, um, and there's lots of cleaning over here. Julie and... has been doing an absolutely astonishing cleaning job. I mean, I thought that we had deliberately chosen a kind of rather dark shade of grey for the colour of it's the shutters gray. and it's... some of the bookcases, but you have oh, revealed right. Oh, right. that in fact, it... what was it? Well, you mean the shutters? Well, no, no, no. There, there was just a layer an, of dirt, which yeah, is now off, come off white. So, in fact, somebody said to me today, who saw this room, they asked if the sh if I had spent all day yesterday painting the I, shutters. I came in here and I thought somebody has painted the place. No. You see, that, that, and what that makes Cleaned. me think is actually we can save some money and not paint it now. No, it's, no, 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 But it's quite no, no, good no. enough as no. it is. No, Let so, us know your thoughts. No. So we are going to Julie, repaint Julie it, and I'm going to paint. tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. So I have been able to clean the walls, some of them, and um, the shutters as well. But this, I think this is probably the best example here by the Wi-Fi box. But when I was cleaning the walls, I was just cleaning where marks were. Yeah? Right. But you can see it's two colors. now. So wait, 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 wait. Is, that, is that cleaned and that's not, exactly. that's not cleaned? Right, I was just well, cleaning. Clean. No, that's not cleaned. This is from years of smoke yeah. so from we, the fire. So if we cleaned the whole thing, it would mm. all go to this rather nice sort of no, muted grey. No, our next project no. is, everybody, I'm just going to explain. The next project is the redecoration of the library. I want a different colour, but also as I was up on these ladders all day yesterday, the entire ceiling just needs some work to it and the freeze all around it just needs some work and uh, I'm happy to do there's that a, work. There's a very interesting cobweb hanging from a rose I don't know if you can yeah. see it but it's a sort of illustration of oh, how, I can. how hard it can be yeah. Um, we need to get a duster to get that little cobweb yeah. off. But, but it, um, this is a rather fine ceiling and an it important is. ceiling. So one of the risks is that when you repaint things, you start to put layer upon layer of yeah. paint on top. So, so maybe we don't need to so repaint no, no, the ceiling. I, no, no, we don't need to. So this is good that you're in here. We definitely don't need to repaint the ceiling. We just need scaffolding in here and we need to clean it properly. Yeah. It just needs, we do not need to repaint it at all. Okay, I well checked that, it out. That is a, so the that ceiling is and the frieze do not need to be repainted at all. They just need to be cleaned. But I do want to um, paint the walls. They, they just the need wall, to be the repainted. The walls and the bookcases. I think I can, and the I can agree with that. And then also um, furniture. We need to make sure that this is a comfortable place for people to come mm -hmm. and sit, play some cards, have an after dinner drink. Yes, Generally, exactly. Use it as a and we've decided, I at least have decided, you know, before at some point we've taken down the, uh, the curtain poles here, but there had been at some point, I don't know if you remember when you were younger, but um, floor to ceiling curtains. But with the shutters, we don't need curtains. I think the light coming in, and we just use the shutters and close it at night. I mean, these are pretty spectacular, and now they're beautifully cleaned. Oh, well, I think I think I agree with you. I don't. Yeah. Think, I don't think we need curtains no. here. We've we've got shutters. We've shutters. So so this is nearly ready for the recital, and it's a future project to obviously do the redecorating. Mm -hmm. What other things are we still waiting to get ready for this weekend, or do you think we're there? I, I mean, I think we're there. Well, I just wanted to show you all here and you as well that. The library is my next sort of renovation, redecoration uh, project, absolutely. And it's, I, I'm really happy that I was able to go up high up on these ladders just to look at the state of the ceiling and realize that it doesn't need to be repainted. It just needs a good clean. And also that the walls do need to be repainted. So, and I think we can bring in a really good fresh color in here. I don't know what that color would be. Comment down below. I'd love to hear your comments on what color you think, now that you can see the library in all of its glory, what color you think we should put in here. I've, I've heard rumors that Malcolm wants to go dark. Is that, mm -hmm. is that uh, mm -hmm. in the offering? It is in the offering. Yeah. Like a dark, rich red. Don't know. It might be, yeah. Don't very, know. That would be very bold. Now, very bold. meanwhile, we are still fine-tuning the last things to get ready for our wonderful guests who arrive this weekend. And one of the things that I noticed 
was that there were some scratches on the dining room table. What's happening here? I have got a rolling pin and a wall mat. Oh. There we go. Okay. Look at this. A lovely, fresh British wall mat, which I've slightly mangled. Okay. And an American pecan. What? Look at that. Pecan wall mat. Guess what I'm going to use them for. I have no idea. You're going to marry them together like so, we're married. <laughs> <laughs> Put them together. That's rather sweet, isn't it? it the is. pecan met the warm-up. Um, there you go. Right. Exactly. I won't go any further with that one. No, don't, so, please. So I discovered yesterday that our dining table has got some scratches in it. And I oh. thought, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? We've got people coming. They're expecting a lovely, polished... Georgian table. Georgian dining table. And there are scratches. So, of course... I went to that great Bible to find what? out what to do. The Bible of YouTube. Oh. And it told me that there is a hack for fixing scratches in tables what? using walnuts. No, yeah, it's the walnut oil, isn't it? I think that a pecan might be better. No, 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 it won't be because it's walnut because of the walnut oil. Well. Yeah, yeah, I promise you. That's yeah. what it is. I wouldn't use the pecan, Luke. Okay. I would do what it says. I would do the, wal I would do the walnut because well, of walnut oil. I thought we'd try a bit of each. No, no, no. If it didn't go. say so on YouTube, I so. would do it. Well, let's not trust everything we read on YouTube. Well, uh, I think, okay. <laughs> okay, off okay, we go, let's okay. go. Let's go. So, here is the table. <clears throat> and if you look carefully, mm -hmm. you can see we've got some... Yeah some quite big scratches. This is a mahogany leaf that we add in from time to time. And you can see that there are these wonderfully, well, they've been faded by the light over the years. So the color of this mahogany is different from the color of this leaf. Because we don't use that and leaf. And simply because we, had, we don't use this leaf, oh. so it hasn't had the same exposure to light oh, over well, the years. Oh, the mahogany is lovely. Isn't it, isn't it rather <laughs> wonderful? Anyway, here we go. Can I've we got, get... some, got some furniture polish. I've got my trusty walnut and my trusty pecan. Okay, and I wouldn't do the pecan. So, so can you see those scratches Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. I think we all saw them. Okay, so I'm going I'm to take a little bit over here. What? And I'm going to apply a little bit of walnut. What? Aren't you scratching it yeah. more? No, I don't think so. You can see. Did you put? <coughs> did you put furniture, fur, furniture polish I'm gonna put that on, on it? I'm going to put that on afterwards. The the hope is that this walnut helps to fill the scratch slightly, so that when the polish goes on. How, so how there we go. I do don't know. You know, that's not bad. I can see that it's left a bit of kind of oily residue. Yeah, I know. Can you see that? Yeah, I, yeah, we it's can definitely working, see it on camera. It? Right. Here's a bit of pecan. Cool. That, let me feel it. Here's a bit of pecan. Yeah. No, Here's I wouldn't do the pecan, Luke. I know you say that, but we're just going to try it on a little bit. I really wouldn't use the it pecan. The same. No, it's yeah. all falling apart. Well, you know what? It's kind of working. It's okay. also got oil in it, because you'd imagine pecan and walnut are quite closely related. I'm going to try a bit of pecan on that one. No, to just keep one walnut, one <coughs> pecan. Well, okay. That, yeah, it's, I'm doing it in a slightly different spot. Okay, let's... Okay, so we've pecan those bits, and we've walnutted that bit. And now hmm. we're going to... Did you put polish on? We're going to put some polish. Well, we're going to, first of all, I think... What take, did it say on YouTube? Off. Well, on YouTube it just said to leave it like that. For how long? I don't think you need to leave it for very long. Uh -huh. um, I th you know what? I think that's better. And I think the pecan white's better too. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not perfect. But are you going to put furniture polish on it now? I don't know that I am. Oh. I mean, it's, it's just got rid of a little bit of the colour of the scratch. I think you need to rub Which it in a little bit more. You do? Okay, well, I, see, since that seemed to no, work, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a few more bits here as well. See if any Oops, of these. Sorry, everybody, bad camera work. Um, but I mean, obviously we need to get this done professionally to actually get rid of the scratches. But just to, okay. just to reduce them a little bit so they're not quite so obvious, hmm. I think the walnut Look at and the pecan Look at all those walnut pieces. Now, pretty good job. Well, he does that, 
I'm just gonna go look over at my, look at this. It's looking better. I mean, I, it's not near where it needs to be, the fire place and the surround and everything, but this, the brick here was like black, like prop, like you could, I didn't even know that there was brick there. And obviously the sides I need, those need to be, that's gonna take some while to clean that, but it does, trust me everybody, we're gonna put like a log basket there when uh, our, our visitors arrive from America. We're gonna put a basket of logs there just to sort of cover that up. But okay. at least the colors there. Oh, okay. okay. We're ready. So here's all my walnut bits. Now we are a kind of waste not, want not kind of family. Don't eat that. So I think we can save these walnut bits and put them on your salad lunchtime. Okay, you, you, you can have that. Are you happy for that? You can have that salad. Yeah. Great. <laughs>